This week we're taking a look at electric cars or EVs at Motor Point because even if you haven't made the switch to electric cars yet, they're just getting so much better and there's so much choice. So let's have a look at these three we've assembled here. We have got the BMW i3. Next to that, we've got the DS3 Crossback e tents And next to that, we've got the Hyundai Kona. So advantages of electric cars generally then, well, of course, you've got the zero emissions. Also, they're about a third cheaper to charge up with electricity than to fill up with fuel and you pay no tax at all. Also in terms of driving obviously they're silent so you've got that refinement of, of, of silent motoring and because they're electric you get instant torque so really energetic sprightly performance. If we just start with the BMW i3 then so, so BMW's first ever electric car and they made a real statement of intent with this car really really futuristic you cannot mistake it for anything else any other BMW. I love the distinctive window line I love how the, the rear lights are, are smoothed in with a, with a tailgate and it really pops out with this metallic blue paint and the and the contrasting black inside you've got a range of different interiors uh, this one's actually called lodge either way they're all nice and spacious you know especially for, for such a small little car so if I just stand back there so this one's the lodge trim you can see there's some really interesting recycled materials in there. You've also got the sustainable wood finish on the top of the dashboard. And another neat touch is this rear hinged door. So if I just step back there and open this up, you'll see that there's no pillar between the front and rear door, which is really unusual. So it just makes loading, uh, especially kids, into the back really easy and, and just makes this much more spacious, uh, again, for such a small little car. The i3 is also a great way to ease yourself into EV ownership and that's because you can get a pure electric version but you can also get a range extender version which is what this car is and that means it does everything that the pure electric car does but you also get a little petrol motor at, at the back so if you run out of charge it, it generates the lithium ion battery it never drives the wheels it actually acts as a generator for the lithium ion battery and it just gets you home until you can charge it up. Moving on then to the DS3 Crossback and the Hyundai Kona. Now, in terms of EVs, these are actually quite unusual cars because there are versions of the DS3 and the Kona that have petrol and diesel engines, but these are the pure electric versions. If we just go to the Kona first, so it's got that kind of chunky, funky crossover style that's so popular these days. I think it looks really cool in this grey paint as well with these um, very rugged wheel arch extensions. A couple of things that mark it out from the regular petrol version. Uh, one of them is the 17 inch aerodynamic wheels which help boost the range just because as the name suggests they're more aerodynamic and also also more aerodynamic is the front grille so on the petrol or the diesel version you need the front grille to, uh, to to send cooling air to the engine you don't need it in this of course because it's electric so they've blanked it off makes it look cool but also they've hidden very cleverly the electric charge point behind that so it doesn't matter which side you park on it's always there and, um, and ready for you to uh, to charge up Let's have a quick look inside because obviously this is a bigger car, slightly more conventional than the i3 and that just makes it more suited to, to family duty so plenty of space in there and also if we look in the front we've got these leather seats and not only are they leather, it's really high spec actually, they're leather seats but they're heated and cooled and you get the heated steering wheel and also this touch screen here so plenty to recommend it. A couple of battery sizes with the Kona um, to choose from, you get a 39 kilowatt hour version which is good for 180 miles so actually that's, that's pretty generous um, and then you get this one which is 64 kilowatt hours and that boosts that right up to 278 miles most of them seem to be 64 kilowatts and all the ones currently advertised at motor point are the, are the 64 kilowatts so that's a really generous range very very practical family car with that now the ds3 crossback here the e-tents actually sits between the two both in size in terms of size so it's a b segment car and b segment means like a ford fiesta kind of si sized car and also in terms of battery size so it's a 50 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery and that's good for 200 miles or so so uh, again you know that's still plenty and, and DS has won the Formula E championship the, the, the all-electric race series and it says that technology is derived from that series so you know if they've won that uh, and then transferred it to the car that's that's good enough for me really this one is in ultra prestige trim so uh, it's got this Bianca white paint uh, which looks really cool and it's got the contrast black roof and the 18 inch olo wheel so very distinctive look and if we just jump inside and again it's very rich inside you see those po handles pop out there as well they pop out as you come to the car 
got these rich materials, a very distinctive interior, very avant-garde, and um, and the 12-inch touchscreen there. There's a nice little feature on here as well. We've got a capacitive uh, touchscreen. You see it says there, the deferred charging time. So you can plug it in to charge at 6 p.m., say, but you can defer that until midnight, so you can take advantage of the cheaper charge rate. So nice little feature there. There are plenty more EVs on offer at Motorpoint, but hopefully that gives you a flavour of everything that's available and the kind of car that's going to suit your needs. So have a look at them all at motorpoint.co.uk. Don't forget to follow us on social media for all the latest updates. And thanks for watching.